hunting all these poor folk. He needs to catch him. Soon. All right, guys. Part six of Vampire. In this episode, we're, we're supposed to be looking for Sean Hampton. So we're over here at the um, East End docks. And as I came over, I seen a dead body. I'm assuming this was Sean Hampton right here, because um, Dr. Swansea did say that he was infected. So that means that he probably is a vampire, and I'm assuming that he killed this dude here. So we have to talk to some people to get some information on him, which I'm assuming is going to be these two people right here that we're going to be talking to, or at least him, because this is actually the first time I've ever seen this dude over here. Not a drop of but I, I've talked to everybody else in this area. This is the work of a vampire. But yeah, guys, um, if you haven't, be sure to smash that like so. button, that subscribe, and uh, that post notification bell. Strange events recently. And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and oh, warden a vampire of hunter. the East End. A vampire hunter? Hmm. Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. I don't even know who that it's is. Shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. Oh, I guess These Jack is that dude on the ground. Are spreading like a plague. Alright, so we got a hint. So how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? I'll probably get a side mission off of him too. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Alright, I'll do that whenever, um... It's simple, really. I finish this mission, but I'll do that whenever I'm not recording. I mean, it's just a side mission. Garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Have you heard of the guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Alright, let's go and get some information on Sean. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Okay, I think that's the dude that um I could make you tell runs that little I bar right there. You. That's like a neutral territory. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is though, 
It only strengthened his faith. <laughs> Getting molested, strengthen his faith. It's first time ever hearing something like that. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. All right. So here's Tom Watts. Let's see if he can tell us where Sean's at. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Well, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Well, it would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him, quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Alright, so we got his location. Make sure we got no more hints for him. Goodbye, okay. Mr. Watt. Alright, so let's go find him. How far is it? Okay, it's not too far. It's actually pretty much just down the street from here. Uh, okay, I gotta go around. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close my blinds, man. There's so much light causes a freaking glare, it's hard for me to see. I don't think I've ever been over here. I think it's like my first time. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Sean Hampton's trail too. Oh, he got a flamethrower, don't he? Oh, bro, he's fucking me up with that flame. Whoa! Wow. I might have just run up on his ass. Oh my gosh, I, I'm fucking missing. This guy with this damn pistol, bro, is annoying. Man, this dude right here needs to die. Oh, come on. Bro, it's so hard to get a hit on him. There we go. He's almost done. Boy, it's just so hard to run and burn him, bro, because he got these people protecting him. It's almost done. Oh, come on. 
come on. There we go. Got your bitch ass. Check this body. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. I mean, we'll have to see if it is him. I mean, we'll have to question it once we find him. Hoping we ain't gotta fight no more of those flamethrower guys, man. Guess we're heading down here. Hurry and get off me so I can bite this dude. Oh, that is retarded. Didn't even count whenever I used that move right there. Bodies. What? What did he shoot me with? I didn't even... I don't even know. I'm honestly leave those people alone. I'm gonna just avoid them and just head to where I need to go. I'm gonna have to fight this too. I think he just has a shotgun, which I could deal with that. On top of that, it's just him by himself. One thing I don't understand is when they shoot their gun, sometimes their gun is not even pointed at me, but they still land the hits. So many people. I know we're coming close on him. I think this is the area. Yeah, this. No, it's not the asylum. I 
Oh, I mean, like, there's people over here. I'll talk to these people it's another locked. time, though. It's here? locked, all right. Lost your horse, or are you just out of your mind? <laughs> all right, where's Sean? There he goes. Check that. Alright, let's talk to the man. Avoid a long face, Doctor. How dare you welcome me as if everything is the same? We both know things have changed a lot, don't we? I'm still me in here, just more alive, as a scal. It's a new beginning, Doctor. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross. Nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. I mean, it makes a good point. Like, I don't know why he's going off on him when... Jonathan is a vampire too, and he's not even telling nobody at, at Pembroke Hospital. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke I think the only Hospital? person that knows is really kill just Sean, Harry. Lady Ashbury, and uh, Doctor Swansea. Why I think. I such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke. Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow... I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. 
All right, so we're going to the sewers. All right, explore the sewers to discover Sean Hampton's secrets. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'll come back to this place like another time and, you know, talk to everybody over here and stuff. Let me back up. Have no fear, brothers. Remember your battles to show me. You're dead. Out. One more hit. Sewer entrance. Hold on, let me back up. All right, so it's oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be right around this corner then. Uh, can't head back. Gotta do my mission. Sometimes when I register in my hits, man, and I don't like locking on, man, because the lock on in this game is not really good. All right, there goes the sewers. Just pick this stuff up. Well, let me check down here real quick. The sewers now gotta see what we gotta do okay it's just telling us to explore the sewers not gonna be able to go through there that doesn't work So that's it. These wheels control the water level. I 
Huh? Hold on, I need to go down there and check. Let's see what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Check the other side. That was like the first time they actually let you run in water in this game. I mean, that one here doesn't even close all the way. So now it should close. Now are we closing both? I'm not, I guess. Hit to the bottom. This button, nope. Can't even hit it. What about this one? Yep. The hell was that? I guess we're gonna be fine like another kind of vampire. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a, a little boss fight this episode. Cause I don't know who that vampire is, but I'm assuming that it knows that we're here. It's probably just waiting for the right moment to attack. That's that, um, I forgot what the hell his name is. It starts with, with the A. Ascalon or something like that. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. Yep. It is time to purge the That's sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, new boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Yes, we're fighting him. Yeah, we didn't run into him last episode for like a quick second. Dare challenge the dictates of Ascalon. Oh damn, bro, he takes out a lot of health. I might just throw two hits and just, well, like one or two hits and just keep dodging. Uh, 
Dude getting his ass beat by a newborn. Damn, bro, I gotta worry about these shadows. Let my stamina build up. He's almost done. Well, a little less than halfway. Foolish Echon. Damn, bro. My gosh. You shall learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. The infernal bunch of the hand that crushes all. Damn, I didn't think he was gonna get me that last hit. I had to heal myself after. Damn, bro. Are you kidding me? I just got up. Foolish Echon. charge damn it I should have just kept dodging I was trying to throw in a hit come on What's he doing? 
Return to your apothecary and needles. Slow as a snail! Honestly, don't know where the hell he's gonna land. There he goes. I shall crush you. Let's keep dodging. It's annoying because I can't really hit him as much now. Done. Down, stay down. Let me just heal myself. I shall crush you. Oh, I didn't see him. Bitch. Like two hits away. Yeah, you got you. You bastard. Alright y'all, tell us to explore the sewers, what the hell else are we supposed to be lo like looking for? Unless we teleport up top. I don't know. I see blood up there, but... There's no way to teleport out, uh, back up there. Oh, right here, right here. Maybe this door. Yep. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. I don't even know which way is the right way. I'm about to go back to the other direction. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check that other way because I just want to see what's over there. Oh, let me grab that. Place is like a damn maze. Huh. 
How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. Okay, never mind. So I think this area here just loops around. Yeah, it looks like it just loops around. Better not be a Lady Ashbury. Bless you, Richard. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Oh, never mind. This... I saved you. I don't know who this is. Creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. I wonder if uh, she's a scow. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Echon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Echon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. So they're like some type of hybrids, pretty much, what if they're an offshoot of called? immortals? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. By immortals, I'm assuming they she means, um, by like vampires are like an offshoot of vampires, so they're probably like some type of hybrid vampires. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you, she is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. All right, so we got to find Harriet Jones. Where's she at? Oh no, she's down below. All right, so she's gonna be in this room here. I mean, you might be dying, Harry, so I'm gonna go ahead and seal this stuff. If you don't mind, lady. Looking quite awful, too. This lady looks terrible. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? 
Hmm, yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting. And cruel. So cruel. Well, now we know that neither her or Shadows. Sean killed the dude. Tell me what you saw. Some the some Shadows. type of uh, entity they killed that person. And answered something in the deep darkness. Quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. It could have been that same entity that we seen earlier that yes. wasn't physical. And these shadows, this presence. Do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were, and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Alright, so go back to Sean here to shelter and confront him. So it's pretty much talking to him. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. Yeah, let's say we didn't so really. Questions. Yeah, we didn't really Get find the answers us. to our question, anyways. Because neither of them killed that dude. To answer more questions. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood. 
that rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Sean, but I'm pretty sure that the entity that, um, whoever killed that one dude, it was probably that same entity that, uh, we ended up running to. I think it was last episode, or it was probably the episode before that, but it wasn't a physical being. I don't even know how to even describe it. But I just know that it just wasn't physical. So it could have been that same entity that was talking to Harriet. I'm gonna just take a guess and say that was it. Oh, we're taking this I cannot one. enter. I think I might have took the wrong way because it says to go up. Okay. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed, one and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. 
This dude is on some other shit. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Turn, you sacrifice 500 XP in the process. You will heal through my blood. Embrace, I don't trust you. Spare. I envy the peace you found. No, I'll turn. Just to see how that turns out. My discover is vampire blood would enhance your metabolism. Perhaps even heal you. If what old Bridget says is true, I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said, kneel and drink. Now. <laughs> I can see how that's awkward. Now, is that the end of this mission? I don't even know. Can we talk to him? Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Okay, yeah. So it is the end of the mission. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part 6 here. And when we come back... We'll be doing this mission Red Rivers, checking on this corpse. I'm not sure who killed this dude, but we'll, you know, we'll find out in episode 7. But if you enjoyed this part 6, guys, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and tap that post notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, take care, and have a beautiful day.